Adult Services here in Woonsocket. Um, it's our absolute honor and pleasure to have with us today Dr. Khalila Camacho Ali. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Waleed Muhammad, who's going to say a few words about Dr. Ali. And please give Dr. Khalila Camacho Ali a very warm welcome. Welcome. I'd like to say to you all, I'll uh, mention to you all our uh, traditional greetings in the Islamic faith. That is, peace be unto you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, is the way we say it. And uh, welcome to this uh, very special event. You know, so I'm very pleased to uh, have the honor and privilege of bringing her here to do a book signing. And she has some photographs to sign also, very special photographs, by the way. I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Kalila Camacho Ali. Thank you. I just want to say to everybody here today, I am honored to, to be before you at a beautiful place called the library. I am a woman who loves libraries. Mm. kindergarten through 12th grade. I was raised in a Muslim school back in the 50s. When I was in that school, Muslim school, we had black history when they didn't have any history, black history in any schools, any public schools ever in 1958. And the black book that we had for those black history was the American uh, pictorial history of the American Negro in America, written by Langston Hughes. One thing that I learned coming up in a Muslim home with my father and my mother, they always told me, look, no matter what happens, no matter where you go, be kind and be respectful. Doesn't matter what color of the skin. It matters that they're human beings. And we are all part of humanity. So to be here, to be before you, to talk about this book, and this would tell you why Muhammad Ali was inspired by me all along. <laughs> the name Undefeated has nothing to do with Muhammad Ali whatsoever. <clears throat> Undefeated is me. I have a knife to read black belt, martial arts, and never been defeated, ever. So I was trained to do security in the home of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So when dignitaries would come to his house, that's in the book, I would serve coffee and tea and food. But underneath serving that coffee and tea, I was watching them being a security guard for them in the house. One man in his 30s, he looked at me and said, you know, you had just a server of coffee, aren't you? I said, no. He said, you're a little bit more than that, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't figure it out what I was doing. That man was Martin Luther King. I did not realize what he was saying. I said, yeah, whatever. Tallest in the back of the room. 
He said, hey, little girl, I'm going to be famous. So here's your autograph. Get it now. It's going to be worth a lot of money. And it is. <laughs> so he signed his name, Cassius Marcellus Clay. That's it. Cassius Marcellus Clay. Um, that's your name? He said, yeah. Well, Cassius Marcellus, that's like a Roman name. Do you know what Romans did to people? He said, what? I said, Roman name. Cassius Marcellus is a Roman name. Do you know what who what Romans did to people? Nope. So this is the kicker right here. Clay. That's like dirt. You old. Are you proud of this, brother? He said, I thought I was. <laughs> and I start tearing up the name. I said, brother. You get a name of honor. Till you get a name of respect. Matter of fact, until you get a Muslim name, you take this back with you. I don't want it. She tore up a name, man. He got excited and upset and I walked away. I can hear him way back there. She tore up a name. <laughs> now, you pretty boys, especially if you know how you work. You know you pretty boys. Y'all know when you get rejected by a 10-year-old, right? Or a pretty girl, right? He was emphatic. He was out of his mind. That's all he could think about that name. She called him. She called him a name. She called him a name. Slave name. She, who is she? I was, oh, that's just Belinda. She's uh, Elijah Muhammad's princess of Islam. That's what I call her. I'm a conservative. And somebody nominated me for the Lifetime Achievement Award from the President of the United States for all the work I've done for decades. So I said, thank you. But President Biden said, I'm going to talk to her personally. So I said, you talked on the phone. I said, he wants to talk to me? Snap. So he gets on the phone and said, let me tell you something. I know you're a Republican. I know you're, I know you're a conservative. But I'll tell you something. You've done so much for our people all over the country, and I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for your service, and your time, and your honesty. But I want to tell you something. If you think, this is for President Biden, if you think anybody deserves what you just received, the highest honor, in the United States, you let me know, I'll make it happen for you. I would like to have Imam Waleed Muhammad to come up here, please. Give him a hand. I got him the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award from President Biden. Wow. Thank you for your service. President R. Biden, Jr. Thank you.